Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft and today I wanted to show some new vessels that just came out from 1617.com. But before we get into that, my name is Jeff and I make videos all about how to make candles and how to create a business around candles. If you'd like to see any of the stuff that I do, I have everything located on my website at stanleyhandcrafted.com as well as the videos that I've done previously on the video section of this page. And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit subscribe, hit the like button and hit the bell notification so you know when new videos get launched. So if you don't know, 1617.com is a new vessel company or a new herb vessel company that's been out for a little bit and they just keep coming out with really nice vessels. So I wanted to go over these new vessels in the video and show you exactly what they just got in. So the first two vessels I want to show you are some vessels that I've definitely used in the past and ones that I've also shown in the past and that's the new larger size of the West Coast vessel and it's a frosted vessel and if you've watched any of the previous videos you've seen that I'm actually using some of those vessels in another test right now. And of course the ones I'm talking about are these guys right here and they're the ones that I'm using with 4627 and testing a bunch of different wicks. And I actually like these vessels quite a bit. They look really nice. They have a bunch of different colors. So if you've got any type of style or aesthetic, you can definitely pick from a few different ones that'll kind of match your style. And the new ones that just came out are a little bit bigger, which is actually really nice. So we've got two different sizes. We've got these guys right here, and I'm gonna hold each of these up so that you can actually see them. So if I can get that right there. So this first one right here is about 12 to 13 ounces with the bamboo lid. I actually like this one quite a bit. It's a little bit bigger. It's just a little bit bigger than the nine or 10 ounce that I was using in the previous video. And it's kind of a nice in-between size. So when you're going from like an eight or a nine ounce, which I typically use, or when you're going up to like a 16 or an 18, this is definitely a good mid-size vessel. Uh, 12 to 13 ounces is gonna give you a pretty good candle, pretty good size candle with a long burning time. And then of course, one of the things we're gonna do in future videos is we'll go through and wick all these and kind of test them to see what goes in this. Now, judging just first off looking at this thing, this is definitely a two wick vessel. I think you'd probably get a single wood wick in there. So we'll definitely test the cotton wicks and the wooden wicks in this one. And they both come in two different colors, which is really nice. So you've got kind of uh, that frosted white, which is actually really nice. I like this one quite a bit. And then you've got this one right here, which it looks a little darker in the video, but it comes off more of like a frosted blue. So it's actually really nice. I like the color of that one. And I'd love to see this one come in a black at some point. And the next one that came in is this giant three wick candle. Frosted white and the frosted blue, just like the other one with the bamboo lid. And this is gonna be obviously a three wick candle. This one is pretty large. In both of these, if you haven't used the West Coast vessels before, they are very thick quality. It is not a thin glass. This thing is extremely thick. So you're not gonna run into any issues with like trying to be too careful when you pour these things or kind of knocking them into something. I've definitely used vessels in the past where I'm a little afraid or I've knocked it into something and you can get a crack in the side of the glass. These, I definitely don't think you have to worry about anything like that. And the next two that just came out that they sent me are the passion prints and they are animal prints. And I'll go ahead and try to hold these up so that you can see those. And they kind of look like a leopard or a cheetah print. I, now these typically aren't my style, but I do like this. I like this one quite a bit, definitely more than the brown one. Uh, like I said, these typically aren't my style, but my girlfriend loved these. And definitely don't take my style into consideration for these because people in the group, because people in the DIY Facebook group are going crazy over these. So these are definitely a very popular one. I think people will really like these and they hold right around like 15 or 16 ounces in each of these. Now again, like the West Coast, these are definitely a thicker glass. They're not very thin. They're a little thinner than the West Coast, but definitely not as thin as like your standard tumbler. Uh, very nice construction. And the print on the inside of that one is actually inside the glass. So it's not like a paint that you're gonna chip off. You're not gonna scratch the inside of it and have that kind of fade away. So definitely a nice jar. It's definitely, you can see by the diameter on that one, definitely a two wick vessel. And then of course, when it comes down to testing, we'll try to do cotton wick and wooden wick and actually see what works best in those as well. And the ones I was most excited to get are the new 26 ounce cylinder vessels, which are these things right here. And these things are absolutely huge. Uh, and again, just like the other two vessels, very thick, solid construction. I would say these are a little bit more in line uh, with the West Coast. And these come in three different colors, which is gonna be the amethyst, which is a little bit, which is a purple color. You've got the white frosted, just like the West Coast. And then my personal favorite, you've got the aqua blue. This one I actually like a lot. I can't wait to wick this one. And of course, being that this is such a big candle, 
Uh, probably a three, you could probably do a four wick in this one, but the scent throw from this one, because it's so big, is gonna throw incredibly well. So that's pretty much it with this one. I just wanted to do a quick video on these. I just got them in and pulled them out of the boxes. I was looking to see which ones I was gonna, I was gonna test with first, but I figured I would make a video, show you guys and ask you, which ones do you wanna see me test in first? Now, of course, eventually I'm gonna go through and test all of these and I might do one of each just from the very get go, just to see what they do. But if you do wanna see any one of these in particular, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to do that one first. And of course, along with the wick testing, we're gonna do a couple different waxes in these too. So I'm probably gonna do 6006 since that's the wax that I use the most. And then I'll probably do, and then I'll probably do some type of a soy like a 464 or a 444 and see how well they hold up in the vessels. And I know a lot of people that watch these videos have used 1617, so if you have picked up any of these vessels and you're using them, please let me know which ones you're using and which ones you like. And of course, I'll include links to every single one of these in the video description down below, along with the social media platforms that you can follow me on if you'd like to. So definitely jump over, add me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, my website, and the phone number if you wanna reach out, ask any questions, and sign up for any of the text alerts. And that number is 253-303-7968. And of course, if you liked the video, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,